this demonstration, we're going to look at creating and configuring distribution point groups. I already have one distribution point in my lab environment called lon-cfg. And now what I want to do is add a second one to my Toronto site onto a server called tor-svr2. First thing we need to do is configure our site system prerequisites. We'll then add the new distribution point site system role, configure distribution point settings, and finally create a distribution point group. I've come onto my Tor-SVR2 machine. I need to set up the prerequisites, so I come to Administrators group. We'll select Add. Come to Object Types, and what we want to add here is a computer. So we'll select OK. And the machine I want to add is LON-CFG. And we'll just check the names. And we'll select OK. So we've now added the other distribution point as an administrator of the new distribution point. So we'll select OK. And what we'll do now is we'll just come to our Configuration Manager server and into our Admin console. And what we want to do now is come to Administration. And what we're going to do here is come to Site Configuration, come to Servers and Site System Roles. And what we want to do now is we want to create a Site System server. This will bring us into a wizard, so we just need to fill out the wizard. And what we want to do here to start with is we just want to select the new distribution point. So in my case, that's a machine called Tor-SVR2. So we'll just let this do a quick search. We'll select Tor-SVR2 and we'll select OK. Select OK again. And what we want to do is we want to add this to the only site we've got, S01. We're not going to bother specifying a fully qualified domain name for this site system to use on the internet. We're not using it on the internet. We won't require the site server to initiate connections to the site system and we will use the site server's computer account to install the site system. So we'll select next. We won't bother with any proxy settings, so we'll select next. We will select distribution point, and we'll select next. Then what we're going to do here is we will install and configure IIS if required by Configuration Manager. We're not going to bother with branch cache. We're only going to use HTTP because we only have intranet connections. We will use the self-signed certificate and what we will do is we will enable this distribution point for pre-staged content. And we'll select Next. We'll just leave all of the default settings for the drive settings, so we'll reserve 50 megabytes. We'll leave everything else as automatic for the content library, and also as well the share location for the primary package. And we'll select Next. So, at this point here, enable this distribution point to pull content from other distribution points. I won't do that at this point here. What we'll do is we'll manually force out the content. And we'll select Next. We're not going to use this for operating system deployments in the case of this distribution point, so we'll just select Next on the Pixie settings, and we'll do the same for the multicast settings. Content validation, we will validate the content on the schedule, so this just verifies the integrity of any packages on the distribution points, and we will do that weekly. And we'll select Next. We don't have boundary groups in this lab environment, so we'll select Next. Just on the summary, have a quick read through and select Next doesn't take too long for the progress to clear. We'll then select Close. Now at this point here, we're now installing on Tor-SVR2 the distribution point software. Now this will take a couple of minutes, so all we'll do at this point is pause this demonstration and return back once the installation is complete. So now the server's configured, let's just go to our distribution points. And within our distribution point, let's just edit the properties on Tor-SVR2. So we'll right click and then go to properties. Just on the properties on the general page, we've got the general information so that we filled in as part of the installation. We've also got the Pixie settings that we filled out as part of the installation for operating system deployment along with multicast. We then have any group relationships relating to this server. So as we can see, we're not a member of any distribution point groups yet. We can have a look at the content tab and see the content that we currently have. So we have the configuration manager client package we can look at our content validation. So we have set this up as part of the installation to validate content on the schedule. It's not a member of any boundary groups at the moment. We look at the schedule tab. So on the schedule tab, we can control exactly when network load will be used during critical times. We can also limit the rate. So we can do this unlimited when sending the destination, or we can actually limit the amount of bandwidth utilized. If we look at the pull distribution point, remember we specify this not to be a pull distribution point. And finally, who can actually look after this distribution point. So what we'll now do is we'll now come in and we'll just set up our distribution point group. So we'll just cancel out this. 
And what we'll do is we'll just come down to our distribution point groups. In our distribution point groups, we want to create a new group. So we'll right click, create a group. And then what we'll do here is we'll call this London DPs. And we'll put in a description of distribution points located in London. We'll then come down to our members. We'll select our add button. And what we'll do is we'll highlight our two distribution points that we want to add to the distribution point group. And then we'll select OK. And then what we'll do is we'll select OK again. So finally what we'll do is if we just come back to the properties of our distribution point group, uh, select properties. What we'll do at this point here is we'll now allocate this distribution point to a collection of devices. So what we'll do is we'll go to collections, we'll select add, and then what we'll do is we'll just drop this down to device collections, and I want to use this distribution point for all of my Windows 10 workstations. We'll then select OK, select OK again, and we've now configured our distribution point and our distribution point group. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.